Well, good, beautiful greetings and abundant benevolent blessings to all you wonderful souls here, Kiara Ducasse, and I'm excited to share with you this beautiful little garden that I've been developing for the past two to three months, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It is yielding an incredible amount of uh, food so far, and um, yeah, we're thoroughly enjoying it. So let's have a look at what's going on in the in the garden here. Oh, interesting. Red pill, blue pill. Ain't that interesting? Blue pill, red pill. <laughs> okay, guys. But anyway, so let's have a look here and see what's going on. So this is our crazy worm bin, and um, as you can see, there is worm tea there, and that is super ultra concentrated worm tea there. Of course, we add it into the plants, and um, yeah, you get absolutely tremendous growth from the plants. So let's have a look at what's going on here in the garden. So course in the back we have some spinach there's a little banana i decided to throw there this is a comfrey guys comfrey is in absolutely incredible for um healing uh, broken bones and wounded bones it's great for detox and um this is it's almost a little bit spiky at the moment but this could be used as a as a gentle um toilet paper or wipe um for the body and exceptional amount of minerals and most of all what this plant is actually used for in the plant kingdom um, is to chop and drop and you chop this and you throw it next to other plants it's very very nutrient dense and this really helps other plants to um, uh, this basically is green compost green um, manure so we got some tomatoes there's a little bit of pumpkins uh, there's a little avo growing in there um, there's aloe, so aloe is incredible. You can just break a little tip there and get a good look at that. So aloe is used for skin treatment, um, gut health, and uh, all kinds of wonderful things like that. So you literally, you just take this and you apply it um, on your skin, wherever you've got blemishes, and basically that's gonna give you, uh, reduce those blemishes without giving you any further damages or marks or anything like that. So, yeah, really incredible. So check it out, little tomato kingdom here. They are coming in so beautifully, right? Um, small little tomatoes everywhere, and that's just the magic. Uh, so, there are potatoes in this bed. So these are uh, potatoes. You can see here, here's the little butternut coming along, looking absolutely gorgeous. We have a whole variety of tomatoes. So basically, this is the germination the natural germination pod. Um, this is uh, an interesting way to do it, but you can see we literally throw all of our seeds and all kinds of things that pop up here. And this is a peach. Um, there's quite a few of them in here. So we'll basically take that out, put it into a larger pot plant, of course, with some compost and soil, and uh, obviously then get, uh, um, get the nutrients that we deserve um, out of that plant. I'm so excited for that delicious plant. So I can't, I can't absolutely can't wait to to see what this looks like. And we'll do the same with the um, avocados that we have here. We've got some gooseberries in the garden, but I won't show you those right now. Um, let's have a look here. What's going on? So we have this is um, uh, ashwagandha. So you can see. Actually, let's get inside there. Those are the ashwagandha berries, and basically dry those, and those are what we get ashwagandha from. Ashwagandha is an uh, incredible adaptogen, and uh, very, very beautiful and good for the body. Uh, that's a snake plant, or a money plant, brings money and good uh, health and energy. Um, but she's uh, she's been struggling a little bit here, but the other one is doing tremendously well. This here, this wonderful looking plant, is actually called Siberian motherwort. So um, this is really juicy. This is actually, what a beautiful looking plant. Look at that, get a good look at that. Sure, smells wonderful. And that's super, super medicinal for detoxing and cleansing the body. So let's have a look at what else we have. Got spring onion, got some spinach. Now oh, this is the fun part. Hey, get a good look at our little praying mantis. Hey, little buddy. How's it going there? Thanks for taking care of all the aphids and all the the nasties on the plants that we don't want. Almost like those little guys up there, right? We don't want those, but uh, yeah, all the ants, all the insects come together to really just show good, healthy plants at the end of the day. So let's see if we've got anything in here. We've got some babe, 
baby butter knife. There's two. Oh, one's fallen off. Oh, that's a bit of a pity. Hey, but that little guy looks almost ready in, in that size, but no, it's not ready. So, obviously the flowers, that's what happens. This flowers convert to fruit or vegetables, and that's what happens. How cool is this plant, right? How absolutely cool. You guys want to take a wild guess what this one is? Three, two, one. Well, this is amaranth. Amaranth. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so delicious. Wow. Obviously, this in the garden can literally spread like wildfire, as you can see, and the birds love it. So, yeah, really delicious. Um, and we'll harvest this as soon as she's ready. She's starting to look almost ready. So, yeah, we'll do that soon. And she continues to grow. Look at it. It's all inside her beautiful plant there, her body. Over here, we have white rosemary. We have sage. Well, guys, you're probably going to ask me, well, what's going on in this garden? Um, I'm going to say, well, we wanted to develop a permaculture jungle um, where we could just literally come outside and step and literally grab what we need, spring onion, rosemary. We've been making salads from this garden for the past three, three weeks, every day, 100% from the garden. And I can't even tell you the flavor, the crispness, the nutrition, the energy, the value that we're getting from this, this garden is incredible. So in my personal view, you should be growing your own vegetables too. Find a spot in your garden and get yourself some organic seedlings wherever you can. And um, yeah, get going with that. It's really incredible. So let's have a look at what else is going on here. That's some that's some kale. Um, of course, there's crazy amounts of butternut. But let's get deep in the jungle here and let's have a look. You can see there, cucumbers. Absolutely awesome. Let's get a good look there so you guys can see properly. Make sure there's no spiders or anything in your garden. You don't want to be touching spiders where you don't need to. That's my hand, so you can see it's quite a chunky cucumber. And uh, I'll show you a few more. There's another one down there. There's quite a few up here, so that's really delicious. Hey, what you say? Um, what else do we have here? Some more spinach, more butternut. We've got some awesome bananas in here. Really, these bananas are looking great, um, but they're still in their pots, and I don't really want them in their pots. Uh, so we're going to find a nice spot to grow them. And this is rocket or aragula. Absolutely incredible for cleansing the body and what a nutritious supplement and it's got like this bitter delicious crazy delicious taste I can't even describe that taste to you because it's so awesome um, um, I personally find arugula or rocket to be one of my most favorite um, vegetables or plants uh, to consume just the way that it makes you feel is just really beautiful so let's have a look here this little butternut is chilling on the top he's loving life and so is that one. Oh man they're really absolutely just loving life um well let's have a good look whoa look at the size of this cucumber guys look at the size of that one i haven't seen actually this one but that is like twice the size of the other one that i showed you now now there's another one coming along that's what they look like when they start off this is a massive kale it's about half a meter tall maybe a bit taller than half a meter and just absolutely thriving with all kinds of vegetables um this is a chili uh i can't i can't quite remember which chili i think it's a green chili um this paprika chili unfortunately failed it didn't like the space it was getting too much water so it didn't do so well and you can see here more argula you can see that we throw some of the um the um compost composting manure to keep the weeds suppressed and all of that um, so that really helps a substantial amount um, some more argula and then over here we have leeks so can't really see them but that they're coming along right so yeah they're looking super healthy and the fact that all of these plants are here to benefit each other um, let me give you a good perspective of the garden and uh, a wide view of what the garden actually looks like so that you can get perspective and see all of that nourishment is in such a small little space actually at the end of the day so you could be growing all kinds of vegetables as you please look at the size of these nasturtium leaves um, nasturtium is a nitrogen fixing plant um, has really delicious edible flowers those are the flowers that are edible um, oh, let me find a nice pretty one for you to look at. Um, there you go. 
And um, yeah, so these bring beneficial predators and insects too. And these are edible. Let's have a look what they taste like. Mm. I love them. I think they're really delicious. They do have a bit of a like a spice kind of feeling towards the end, but really they're super delicious and super healthy. So you're going to be wanting getting those in your in the grip of your hands. Let's have a look what else we got here. Whoa! Butternut! Butternut! And I mean we're crawling all over the floor here as well. So we've got butternuts, we've got butternuts falling out the sky, literally falling out the sky, <laughs> which is so cool. I absolutely love this. We've got spinach, uh, we've got coriander, and as you can see here, we're getting some aphids and little critters on the plants. I don't really know too many, too much about the critters, um, but I do know that these suck and they eat your plants. I mean, that's that's a brindle or eggplant, and that's from all of the caterpillars that are in this garden. So I'm really hoping that the, the wasps and the hornets take care of those little guys. Um, as soon as possible but yeah they're just doing what they can all of them a thriving ecosystem here's the flowers coming on the brinjal there's the flowers so we don't have brinjals just yet so they're coming so we'll certainly see them super soon i mean look at the orange flowers on this nasturtium here all right how as and this just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing and just getting bigger and bigger i mean as you can see we're eating this kale get a good look at the size of that leaf from my hand and that's whoa that's a huge leaf I wonder if we got any fruit on this here yet let's have a look yes we do at the back there i don't know if you guys can see i haven't seen that but there you go different kind of butternut um we love butternut so we pretty much eat it with everything um wherever possible so this one's looking like it's choking a little bit but they're still thriving um these are green chilies as well uh, more spinach there you go there's a chili so you can see that chili green chili um yeah looking great here's a green pepper so we got green peppers we got red peppers we got green chilies red chilies and then underneath here through all of that we actually have oregano um oregano which is uh doing pretty well under there but it's probably getting a little bit shaded out so i'll do some cleaning up of the of the trees and all of that i mean of the, the plants surrounding it and uh yeah have so much fun with it so let's have a look what else we have in this garden so the coriander is coming to its flowering point so have a look at the flowers they're really pretty that's what they start to look like when they bulb um so yeah we've eaten well from that and really really delicious what else do we have here some more chilies there's more butternut we're really going to get a, such a good harvest of butternut. Oh, check here, check here. I got a green. Oh, no, he jumped away. Get a good look at that. Ah. See, things you wouldn't even probably see if they, unless they just jumped on you. Uh, curly kale, that's one of my favorite kales. This kale is so delicious. Um, let's have a look here at what we've got underneath here. We've got more brinjal. Um, we've got a little bit of lettuce. The lettuce not doing so well. I think it's getting too much water. We've got a normal rosemary. Uh, I think you call it a purple, it's purple flowers. Um, a little bit of an astertium, lots more um, spring onion. And now this is the fun part. This is catnip. Guys, if you've got cats, you're going to want to get yourself some of this. This thing grows like crazy. I mean, this is grown this size and, and Victor chopped it. And basically now uh, I'm dehydrating or naturally drying in the sun. Um, the top pieces, I chop them up finely, and that can be used as dried catnip for your cats. But really, to be very honest, cats come literally come here and eat this plant because they just absolutely love it so much. And have a look at these pretty flowers, right? How gorgeous are these flowers? Absolutely incredible. And get a good look at these bees. We've got different types of bees sitting here. Wow, look at that guy. Hello. <laughs> yes, are you happy you're getting some nectar? And Hey, I mean, look at that guy compared to that little guy. Very, very different. So, yeah, absolutely just love this garden. So, here yeah, we have a little bit of a um, pest problem. Um, so, if any of you have any idea what to do with these little guys, please let me know in the comments section below. I'd absolutely love that. Um, 
But yeah, other than that, we've been eating lots of the stuff. Uh, it also seeded, so when it's dry, it's been raining heavily here, so we haven't been really been able to harvest the seeds um, correctly. Then we have one of Lucina's favorite, favorite, favorite. This is stevia. So let me show you. Okay, so let's take a little piece. Bloop. Let's have a little bite. So this is stevia. Mm, this is a natural sweetener. You can use to feed or add as into your smoothies, into your bowls as a, as a natural sweetener. If you're really feeling like something sweet and you don't want to have any unhealthy calories or anything like that, literally, this thing is sweeter than sugar. So come here, buy yourself a stevia plant, get a piece, eat it, really delicious. And um, yeah, get more of this in your life. Now, one of my favorite, favorite herbs, I can't even describe to you how insanely delicious this one is. This is called tarragon. Now this, my gosh, this smell and flavor to add to food is just something insane. I absolutely love tarragon to bits and pieces. You can see here we've got a bit of blackjack in between. Um, but truthfully so, actually blackjack... South Africans consider blackjack to be a pest. And yes, as much as it might be so, really at the end of the day, blackjack and blackjack leaves can be used as a medicinal plant. Um, you take the leaves and you put it in tea and you brew tea. And this is super, super immune boosting, protects you from all the, the viruses that are happening out there and all the rest of that. Guys, I have to show you this. This is, look at that bee. Look at this. It's like a fly bee. Crazy. Look at them all hovering out there. Hey, what an incredible life. Look at this little guy. Hey, what's up? How are you doing there, buddy? Oh my goodness, you're loving that plant, eh? Uh -huh. There's a mulberry bush, mulberry tree. And then, obviously, so that's fennel. Um, fennel is incredible. It's like got a, a licorice kind of taste, and it's super full of flavor. Absolutely delicious. I add that to salads all the time. Fennel is incredible for cleaning out the body, cleaning the blood, and um, getting your nourishment back into your body. Because at the end of the day, guys, that is what we should be eating. All of that. that this is garden. Of course, there could be so much more in here. Um, but really, this is what I had. Um, this is what we grew. So absolutely loving them. Fennel flowers looking so, so pretty and deliciously gorgeous. Let's get a little bit in here. I want to show you some cool stuff. So... This is carrots. Um, that's butter lettuce. Not, as I said, butter lettuce not doing so well. But let's get a good look in the carrots. And we're getting some carrots down there. Um, there there's maybe uh, quite a few different in here as well. That, that little guy's not doing so well. Um, but that's okay. Oh, and the butter lettuce. This one seems to be doing a bit better. But uh, yeah, as you can see, you don't want it sitting on a wet floor. Because uh, that's what brings all the mites and the bugs and that kind of stuff. So you can see here, we've added um, charcoal, uh, which we've activated with our worm tea. Um, so that's really just helping me this garden flourish and shine tremendously so. So uh, let's get in here. This is our little secret little jungle. We've got more butternut flowers coming along there. And look how pretty those flowers are, right? Hey, how gorgeous. We've had, we've been... We've been so absolutely blessed with rain here in Johannesburg. And uh, yeah, lots and lots of plants are just coming back and thriving. I mean, let's have a look at this. This little thing, I thought this tree was gone, I mean, dead, but have a look at this. I mean, this is a new shoot starting from fresh. Um, it's probably just about time to harvest this, but we've got some runner beans. Um, we have some peas down there, but with some spiders in between, so I'm not gonna get in there right now. Just have to be careful. Yeah, these guys are probably a little bit far now, but that's probably just about ready, actually. Yeah, I mean, look at all of these beans that we have in here. Really good, eh? So, and we've covered. This whole tree is covered. This whole tree is covered. In the back there, we've got a pretty sunflower. That's about to start blooming. I'll get around there and show you guys now properly. Um, yeah, so, look there. This is geranium. Absolutely incredible. Love, love, love the geranium. Let's see the sunflower. Sunflower's about to start. Yay! Look at that. Geometric pattern happening right in front of our very eyes. That happens pretty much with all flowers and all trees because that's how they grow. And uh, 
yeah, let's show you one more secret little plant that I just wanted to share with you. Yeah, this one's growing like crazy here. So let's uh, let's have a look. Okay, so you got a uh, watermelon, organic watermelon. So get a good look at there. There's the watermelon flowers blooming along. This thing's creeping all over, literally all over. It is screaming to get out. It's trying to crawl everywhere. I mean, let's get a good look at the garden here. And there's more watermelon. So we're probably going to get like 20, 15 to 20 watermelons. They normally say don't count your chickens before they hatch, but I'm counting watermelons. So I trust myself. I trust my garden. And I trust what I do. And there's been a substantial amount of rain. We put some nasturtium there so we can feed it too. And uh, yeah, we just let things grow a little bit wildly here in, in with each other because that's the point is, is that you can do that. So um, have a good look at the garden. There's Victor. He likes to, to help and he does wonderful things in the garden. And um, yeah, just have a good look. I mean, look at these pretty roses as well. I mean, guys, when you've got food, when you've got a garden, you can't even describe, actually. Have a look at this. Even the, these pretty blue lilies. My goodness me. Absolutely stunning. All these plants all over. But when you've got a good garden, you've got food in your garden, you can't go wrong. Like, nobody can take your food away from you. That's your food in your garden. So, really, at the, at the end of the day... Oh, let me show you something else. Here's our gooseberries. And they're starting to flower come through so that's really pretty those flower pretty much all year or most of the most of the parts of the year and this is our delicious monster so delicious monster is insane and delicious monster gets super super fruit oh yeah here's one more cucumber for you guys <laughs> i'll show you two more actually yeah one and two but a delicious monster gets these delicious fruits on i haven't tried one myself yet um but yeah, when, when they're a bit bigger and more mature, you get these delicious fruits and you can just devour absolutely insanely. So yeah, I hope that you get a lot out of this video. And, um, you know, our space right now might not be the biggest, but I can tell you something. It is certainly completely invaluable where you can create a garden in such a small space with so much food. Um, literally, I'm eating every day from this. And if I really wanted to, I could survive on this garden and smoothies. So with our Synergy Organic Superfoods. So at the end of the day, the choice is yours on how you eat. But when you nourish yourself the right way, you will live a happy, healthy, long life instead of an unhappy, unhealthy, short life. So the choice is yours. And remember that at the end of every day when you are eating something and putting something past your lips because you know that you deserve the best. So you should be giving yourself the best. And if you want any more advice, or conversations please hit us up in the comment section below um and let's get you guys uh, sorted let's you know share some videos share some content together if you liked our content if you like what we're doing here um we're certainly going to be just working on doing more videos um at the moment uh, just a heads up we are not on the farm that we were working on anymore we um i'm in this space at the moment and uh etan is in Worcester in Cape Town and he's busy working on a project um, but we're heading out uh, he's heading out to Somerset West and um, we're really gonna be doing a lot of planting there and community farming and growing uh, vegetables in a permaculture way so that we can feed the community and start to share with the community how they can to feed themselves because at the end of the day that's what it's about if you like this please hit the button below like subscribe share and thank you for being part of this community really thank you because without you we wouldn't be a community at the end of the day we would just be i and there is no i in community right well there is an i in community but there's no i in team so let's do this lots of love and blessings to you have a super wonderful day